We're continuing to unpack a growing trend of DIYing risky cosmetic procedures. Kim, a self-proclaimed skincare rebel, is taking us inside this underground world. We had Dr. Botcher take a look at some of the DIY videos that Kim's posted on her YouTube channel. And I'm just gonna go ahead and let you share some of your thoughts. Sure. So the, the first video that I looked at, Kim, was your video of self filler injection, where as you took it out of the box, you mentioned you had never put a needle on or assembled a syringe and here you go. In this one, you're kind of showing that it was a very hard injection that you weren't expecting that much resistance. So you started repositioning. And as I was watching you, I was really concerned because there is actually an artery that runs in that area called your superior labial artery. And I was really worried you were gonna hit it. I was really anxious that someone else watching you is gonna replicate this technique and have vascular occlusion and it's going to be a devastating outcome. There you're scratching your head, putting your hair back with your gloved hands and then going back to injection. There's bacteria. That's not sterile technique. The other thing you're doing is you're putting your hand in your mouth where there's also a lot of bacteria and then going back to injection without ever wiping off with alcohol, without ever changing gloves, at least that I saw. I agree that like there were probably some sanitary issues there and there were things that I could have done differently, like in my private Facebook group and some nurses who are in there, they're like, oh, you should change the needle after a few points, it'll make it sharper. And things like that, that obviously I didn't know. There are so many things that are being done wrong in that video that I'm shuddering to. The single biggest thing, infection, potentially cellulitis that could lead to sepsis and potentially death. In the end, we can debate is it right or wrong all day long, right? I understand your platform. I understand the risks and the concern you have. Like, I'm not saying they're not valid. What I'm saying is this community exists with or without me because all of these products are out there and they're easier and easier to find when people are running Facebook ads to sell them. So what are we going to do? Are we gonna close our minds and forget and keep them in the closet? Or are we gonna to try to figure out a way to support this community and give them more guidance and more training? To support that in any shape or form is wrong. But it's not going away. Well, that's why we're doing this show and we, we wanna make it crystal clear, you should not be doing this at home. The doctors. 12 years in! The prognosis you prayed for. For the first time in public, I want to see if she can take a few steps. This is so scary. The treatment you needed. You look fabulous. It's the daytime talk show that's been your cure for over a decade. That is literally taking the lives from their community. I can't believe that this is happening. With the issues affecting your health right now. It is not housing, it is not economic inequality, it is a health crisis. I lied to you, and I lied to you. I have a truth that I'm going to reveal. The Doctors, on call for season 12.